This one's a full chick. You can even see the hair in here. So look what hatched, you guys. Oh, it's so cute. Welcome back to my channel for those of you that are new welcome welcome to today's vlog Lots to do today. So we're just gonna go ahead and get right into this fun a little vlog Has to take my duck to the vet today the rescue duck that I have but first I'm taking care of the horses right now So let's just go ahead and get right into that if you guys are excited for today's video Make sure you go and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel below Make sure you turn those post notifications to get miss any of these videos and of course some chance like post notification shout out All right guys, let's get right into the vlog So now that the barn's done, it's time to take the duck to the vet, but he seems to be doing better. Like he's starting to put it down a little bit more, so we're just gonna get it analyzed. I put some straw in there for them because it was kind of cold, but we're gonna take him to the vet now. Easy, buddy. This can be painless. You want me to take him from here or what? I'm just trying to get his wings under Okay. The mallard is out. The female will probably be kind of sad. Okay, so this is what it's looking like. Maybe it was just sore. I don't know. It does look like it's definitely healing more, but we'll see. You all right, dude? We have the duck in the bucket. And the bucket's closed. There's some holes in there, but when I get into the car, I'll take the top off anyways. Okay, ducky, we're here. Well, I'm in the car now waiting for the duck to finish his appointment. This is like a curbside, how they're doing it. So you just drop the animal off, they do their exam, whatever, and then you kind of talk to them um, outside. So there's no in their exam or anything like that. But they did just call me and the update is, is that he basically had gotten attacked by something, which I'm sure we all assumed. But that little, I want to call it little, but the scar that I've showed you guys with the uh, um, like lacerations on it, there's a lot more. It goes all the way up into his belly, I guess. And um, so they did give me two options. The two options were one, to euthanize the duck, two, treat with antibiotics and um, pain medicine and hope that it recovers. Because the problem is, is that I guess the skin is so damaged that she thinks it might fall off um, because it's like dead skin. So we'll see um, how it goes. So we're gonna give him a fighting chance um, and try with antibiotics and pain meds. So, um, they just told me that I can, um, head up there. So I'm going to walk up to the office and they're going to show me how to inject him because the antibiotic is injectable. I have to inject it once a day and it's light sensitive. So super interesting. So they can only give me, um, seven doses and then next week I'll come for a recheck and then they'll give me the next seven doses. So pretty interesting, um, how this is going to go. I've never really treated like a duck before. And then I do have some topical stuff at home, but let's go in there and learn how to inject um this little duck if you guys don't like needles it's a very very small needle i'm sure it's a duck um just skip like 30 seconds or so so you're gonna feel for the keel bone okay right here the breastbone okay all right and you're gonna go into the muscle on either side of that bone okay all right okay. and it literally goes from my thumb to my middle finger right here so okay. that's this is you have all this space right then you can part the feathers if you want okay you can get down, it's hard to get down to duck skin because you know, they're waterproof. Right. But so oh. the keel bone's right there. So I'm gonna pierce right there. Okay. And there we go. And he took it good. Yeah. Okay. Hi ducky. So we're back. I'll show you guys in a little bit the actual wound more so, but ah, my bee's back. So gotta put him back in with his friend. They're okay, very happy to be back together. Yay! They're talking a lot to each other right now. And look who it is. Checking on what we're doing. 
Another visitor. Hello. <laughs> What are you doing, Trigger? So, cleaned up his wound. Probably should give you a little disclaimer. I don't even remember if I've talked to you guys about his wound. But he had gotten caught in something. Basically, we got it cleaned up really good. We've been letting it air out. It's actually looking so good. But we're gonna put some more topical medicine on it. Same topical that will be going on the duck. But that's what it looks like. It's so ucka, but it's not as swollen anymore. So, that makes me happy. This is the SSD cream that we're putting on. Mike is gloved up. Let's see the glove. He's gloved up <laughs> to put this on Trigger's leg. We're still gonna keep his leg open so that it can continue to openly heal and lather on some of the cream. Hospital patient for today. Whoop. He's very sensitive with it. But I think he was just a little jump scare for him. Perfect. More? No, this looks good. It's a nice coating of it. Perfect. But it is healing up pretty good. So I'm happy with that. He's distracted eating some hay. I don't think I've told you guys that I have two broody mamas here. And oddly enough, they got broody at the same time. She has live babies. Well, no. She has eggs under her that I have candled and are going to be babies but she's been throwing out some eggs so I'm thinking she's trying to consider these duds but sometimes they aren't always right so I will check them again but she threw some out the other day and there was some live action happening in them but I will say chickens are very smart and they know to get rid of the ones that are not gonna fully hatch or I should say develop so typically they're pretty good about it but sometimes I always just double check especially if it's a new mom and I think she's young so I don't know, this is Petrolina, the chicken that we got from the gas station. And I think she's pretty young. So I always like to just double check their work, you know. But she has a lot under her too, but we'll candle some. So these are the eggs that she's abandoned. That one right there, looks like it has a crack in it anyways. So I'm hoping that that's just a crack and not like a peep. I don't know, it's very cold now. But we're gonna candle all these, see what's going on with them. So I'm curious about this one. So there was something growing. I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up, but right here, this probably will not continue to develop and that's probably why she kicked it out because there's a crack in the egg. So that probably will not continue to develop, but that's a bummer because this was a growing chick. So this one started, but she, not really enough to be honest. I don't even think there's any veins, so. Maybe that's why. This one frustrates me because this one's a full chick. You can even see the hair in here. So I'm gonna make her take this. There is a possibility that this chick has already passed away in here and that's why she's kicking it out, but I'm gonna give it back to her. So I'm still gonna put this cracked one that I definitely see some life into. Underneath her, it may already have passed, but we're gonna try anyways. She's not a very nice broody hen, but you'll see how many she has underneath her. So the Wyandotte right here also wants to be broody and she's like kind of upset that she has all the eggs. So we just make sure that there's no eggs underneath her wings. So she's really thinned out what she has in here. So hopefully she'll keep these all. There you go. We like to place it right on top of her. There she goes. Well, we place her on top of them. We don't place them on top of her. <laughs> so I'm actually gonna show you guys his wounds. Mike hasn't seen them either. The duck is flying away. You're too fat, buddy. You're relaxed. Easy. Easy. So I'm going to show you guys now. Um, so the wound goes all the way up. Let's see if we can see it. Up into his belly here. And it is hard to see because he's got a lot of fur. So this is kind of the area of concern here all in there ouch yeah he's got a big ouchie in there let's see if we can Poor guy. get in here because we're gonna need to open this area up just to add this cream to it so yeah he had a decent i know you guys can't really see it either but he fought whatever got him and he um survived that encounter that's why i'm giving him the opportunity to continue to fight 
and see if we can heal him up and hopefully this works. So we're using our SSD cream again. The vet said this was good and we already had it so it worked out perfectly. So all in there. And this is just like a, let's consider it like an antibiotic cream, specialized for burns and like compromised skin. So hopefully this does the trick. All right, little duck. Guys, I can't give him an official name yet until we know if he's gonna survive. Look at how cool. It's so cool. I hope he survives. His little mate will totally miss him. So it's really cold out tonight. And <laughs> when I say cold, like I know you guys always like, Think it's not that cold and you're probably right but this time we're in the 30s and that's like not common for florida and what else uh my horses don't have winter coats so we're keeping everybody in the barn tonight we're gonna close up all the windows and everything and close them all in here because it's cold in here even i'm not letting my horses up tonight i don't have blankets for all of them anyways um because i usually let my horses grow coats throughout the year well at the end of the year and this cold just like happened really fast so my horses don't really have a coat yet so yeah <laughs> that's what we're doing and we're gonna close everything up and it's very cold i don't even want to be doing this routine i feel for all you guys up north that have horses i don't know if i could do it mike's over there closing up the windows from the outside of the barn and then i'll latch them from the inside of the barn look at his jammies that's how you know it's cold. Mike and Jamie's. These have not been latched up since the hurricane. That's done. Oh, it already blocks the wind so much already. The windows are all pretty much closed. Last one I gotta go do is blazes. It's already feeling like a lot warmer in here, so that's good. I mean, it's not warm by any means, but it blocks the wind chill. Hello. Hello. And that's it. They all have water and they're all snuggly for the night. The ducks are in their pen. Look at him. He looks like he's doing a lot better, but they're gonna stay in here. Um, I did put some straw in here so they'll get cozy with that. But ducks can handle like the weather a bit more than chickens can. So they can handle up to like, well, I wanna say up to, but they can withstand till about 20 degrees and we're definitely not getting to 20 degrees. So they're fine, but we do need to get our little male mallard duck there and get him so we can do his shot like you guys saw that um, the vet tech did. So we gave it to him yesterday, it's time to do it again. I did this side of the bone yesterday. So I'm gonna do this side today. Feel for the bone. So this is the bone right here. So the muscles like right here. So we're gonna shoot it into there. I don't know if you guys can hear, but his mate is calling for him. She loves him a lot, but he's looking like he's in better spirits. He's a lot more active, a lot more just, moving <laughs> his tail. That's his leg. High five. Hopefully he makes a full recovery. So cute. We're gonna close. Now I'm getting scared. Feels like this hurricane part two, jeez. So we're gonna leave it like this so the cats can come in here if they need to, so they can get out of the weather. We'll do the same thing up here as well. See Bagel, he's cold today. Well, tonight I should say. You cold? So my broody hen decided to move her whole nest from right here to here. I'm hearing a peep, so I know that there's a chicken here somewhere, but since she moved the whole nest, I think the peep is coming from in here and I cannot find this chick. So now I'm determined to find this chick ASAP. So here we go. Okay, so I found the chick that I thought was a chick. It's not, it's this egg that has peeped. There it is, that's why we hear it. <laughs> Look what hatched, you guys. Oh, it's so cute. I love that it's a little yellow chick. I only have a leghorn rooster, so that's probably why. But it's so cute. She's been a good mama. She did everything good for this baby. Have your baby back. Oh, that's so cute. Go under there. Look, she's lifting herself up a little bit. Oh, that's adorable. Oh my gosh, hey mama, don't bite me. <laughs> There's the egg, oh my gosh. Look how cute this is. So we have named the little chick Turbo, so we've decided that any other chicks that hatch out from Petrolina, our gas station chicken, that they get like car related names. So the first baby was the fastest to hatch. So that's Turbo. Okay, so last check-in for this vlog with our chickies, so. Her blue egg is fully hatched and we've named the little baby Boost and I'll show you the difference that we can tell because they're very similar looking. 
Let's just see if we can get her without her biting me. Maybe she's gonna be nice now. Yeah. That head turn. I know. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Come here, Boost. So Boost, it has this cute little black spot on its back. So cute, that's a little difference that we can tell so far between Turbo and Boost. So, I am so in love. They're so cute. It's so exciting that we ended the year with hatching babies. This was totally not in the plan, but not mad about it. Look at Turbo. Turbo, don't eat the hay. <laughs> Evolved little chicky. Oh my gosh, it's eating it. That's very interesting. So she has a couple eggs underneath her. I'm not sure if they're gonna hatch, but we'll see. I'm actually like surprised that these hatched because the circumstances were so interesting. Okay, don't eat that, Turbo. Sorry. <laughs> but, oh, He's fast, ran too. right into him. There's a couple eggs under her, like I said. Like I was also saying, I wasn't sure if they were gonna hatch because the odds were just so not in our favor. It was literally in the barn and she sat on her nest though and these eggs would fall out of underneath her every single day. They would roll down the hay and we would put them back up. But now we have these cute babies. Look at how cute that is. She's messing with her mama and this chicken has turned out to be such a great mom. Look at them. I love when they learn things. So cute. And little boost over here. Adorable. And you guys, and it is December 31st. So, <laughs> check it on her baby, oh my gosh. So it's about to be the new year and what a fun surprise to end the year with. So cute. We also had no idea when these babies were supposed to hatch because we didn't even know when she like truly started laying on them. We had no real idea of how this was really gonna go. There you go, mama, have some food. She hadn't left her nest in so long, so she's happy to eat and drink water. She's teaching her baby, this is the food. Turbo is smart. Turbo is smart. All right, you guys, well, we have to give our duck that we've officially named Alfred. Alfred. Alfred, because, ew, he just touched me. We believe that he is doing really well so far. And he's still on his injection, so we have to give him another injection, but he's been using his leg really well. Still in that waiting period to see if his wounds are gonna fully heal. We have to do that, give Junie her medicine, and um, you know, wait for the new year. If we don't fall asleep, please don't bite me, Alfred. <laughs> so if you guys liked today's vlog, if you guys think that the chicks were super cute and liked this vlog, make sure you go and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. And of course, if you have a chance for my post notification shout out, today's shout out goes to, tell them Alfred. All right, you guys, well, we love you and we'll see you in the next one.